when you want to experience new things in your life is that you will need strength and courage strength and courage <laughs> Joshua chapter 1 please 5 to 7 strength and courage there is nobody who is able to explore virgin dimensions in the spirit and become men of power and stature when you do not understand strength and courage Joshua 1 5 to 7 1 5 to 7 1 5 to 7 thank you there shall not any man be able to stand before thee speaking to Joshua all the days of your life I hope you know he had never assumed leadership in this capacity the Bible starts by saying Moses my servant is dead get over it I love Moses I use Moses but that formula is dead good things can die it's not only evil that can die God is a God of evolution and transition as far as his work with the saints is concerned there are many good things he may need to shelve because there are greater things coming it is not only evil or bad things that are thrown aside as I was with Moses so I will be with thee I will not fail thee nor forsake you verse 6 he says be strong he's speaking to a man who is about to assume enormous office a, 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 an office that would demand I mean the continuity the manifestation of prophecy depend on his leadership and yeah he's speaking to the people no idea of the battles that were before him and Joshua was told to be strong and of a good courage for unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance i hope you know the inheritance is talking about hard giants there and yet god did not even he was talking as if the giants were already dead share the inheritance which i swear unto the fathers to give you seven only be thou strong and if and very courageous be strong be very courageous can i tell you men who will understand navigate and excel as far as the prophetic shift that is happening is concerned are people who have strength strength and courage courage to stand alone courage to be controversial <clears throat> you cannot be agreeable and step into prophecy hallelujah he comes to meet a young lady minding her business preparing for her marriage and he says young lady you have found favor with God blessed are you among all women you would think after that blessing she should be announced she should be he called it favor I've studied Mary's life from that journey until Jesus have I still don't know what is favor in that statement I understand giving birth to Jesus but the controversies that surrounded Mary from that time Joseph wanted to quietly leave her she was about to lose her marriage lose her life and yet God calls that favor so pain can be favor there are moments that it does not look like it and yet God calls it favor be careful what you call what what is happening to you ask God for the name to use for it because you can see pain that is a ladder for your ascendance and you call it pain but God calls it favor you would see Jesus dying on the cross you call that death but he calls that the path to victory today when we go to heaven we don't just use crowns to know Jesus because there are men and elders who have crowns but when everybody lifts his hand the one who has the scar that which was a, an emblem of shame today is the symbol that is that is the signature of his majesty when Jesus appeared he he said to Thomas's doubting not by saying look at my head he said put your hand so the scars the nails you would have seen him three four days ago and you would have assumed that such a weak Jesus the foolish man at the other side of the cross you heard what the guy was saying too and the other one rebuked him and said we are criminals here for a just reason this man has not done anything 
So don't call your lack of food. It's not poverty. It's not always poverty. You may be calling it poverty. God is calling it training. Training for where he's taking you. So that you will learn how to abound. You will learn how to do it plenty and with nothing. Are we together now? Believers must learn how to interpret the writings of the world from the lens of the spirit. Otherwise, you will lose prophetic seasons because they do not come in an appearance that you are used to. You need courage. Say courage. You need strength. Yes, the Bible says, by the strength of an ox is much good gotten. The strength of an ox. You see how an ox plows the field for hours, yet it is making the ridges. The strength of an ox is what you will need in this end time. There are times you have to stand alone for many years before others join you. There are times you have to see ahead of every other person, maybe in your family, maybe in your business, and literally be there for a long time before people begin to join you one by one. Do you have the courage to be alone? strength and courage psalm 27 1 and 3 1 to 3 psalm 27 we're looking at the second key i like the psalmist you know i've told you this thing this psalmist man i really look forward to seeing him in heaven the lord is my light and my salvation the man suffered too much till he became wise hallelujah do you know that his wisdom came on the strength of his cars the psalmist the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Verse 3. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Did the Bible not say, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise? It says, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you need courage. In this seeker-friendly world, there are many, many times you will have to walk against the odds. People do not have to believe in you to succeed. No. We live in a world where everybody wants to be free of any, you just want to be accepted by everybody regardless. No, sir. The way of the kingdom is a narrow path. There are times you will have to take certain steps because of your conviction, because of courage. It may not be the best. But that may be the path earmarked for your greatness. Hallelujah. Courage strength 